You know, I really love this time of Italy. Summer's just finishing into autumn. There's plenty of beautiful ripe tomatoes and of course beans. And I've picked up some magnificent beans here because I understand that uh, one of Pacini's favourite dishes involve beans. And I've got my old mate here, Adam, to uh, to help out here. G'day, Adam. Hey, How Michael. How are you? Hey, Adam. Uh, I'm very well, thanks. Uh, these are not quite the beans that he used in his recipe, but mm. Bolotti beans are just sensational, aren't oh, they? They look lovely. Look at that. And you know the good thing about beans, Michael? They so give you lots of power. But do mm. they really? Mm. Oh. And you, mm. My research tells me his favourite pasta dish was a bit of a take on like a pasta vazul mm -hmm. and pasta di patati. That okay. means beans and potato. Very good. Right. Oh, <laughs> so what I need you to do, Michael, is basically we've got some more bolotis over here mm -hmm. that are already been soaked. Because okay. they dry them, don't they? Then they re soak them when they need them. You need them for at least soak for a couple of yeah, hours, fantastic. yeah, in the water. Mm -hmm. mm. I'll try everything today. <laughs> so we're using the San Remo egg tagliatelle today, all right? So mm -hmm. now, the great thing about egg pasta is you get this beautiful, voluptuous taste, this mm. really nice richness to the dish. Voluptuous. Yeah, it gets this just beautiful texture. Hey, meat and pasta. Okay, Oil. so, so I'll, you need I'll to chop, chop, please. Okay. And you know sage is an easy plant to grow in the garden and the other thing about sage if you you know you sort of drink a bit of wine red wine and your teeth sort of get a little bit after even after you clean them just take some sage off and cross a little, cross a little and go like that <laughs> seriously what about you coffee does it get rid of coffee, coffee it does beautiful does the whole lot yeah no and of course rosemary great if you've got a cough uh, particularly if you've got a chronic cough <laughs> rosemary tea is very good indeed anything else you want to dr michael here today hey <laughs> I thought I'd come here to cook, so you chop that up. I'll chop all that. I've got the garlic already peeled there for you, Mike. Mm -hmm. Get that in there, so... Hey, one thing about here, though, it's lovely and quiet. Of course, you, uh, oh. being a composer, he, he would have to almost demand that of the area oh, he where he could just sit and get sort of any other sort of context of music out of his... I, might, I thought you might chew <laughs> too much. So, look, I've already got some chopped in. I'm going to get that you, fried off. You're making me... I can't believe it. <laughs> Excuse me, chef. That's all right. <laughs> chef. Now, the thing about this, so we've got to fry off those herbs with the garlic. Mm -hmm. You want to cook them out for a couple of minutes, so just let them break down, infuse the oil. It's a beautiful aroma coming out of that. It's it is. Stunning. Yeah. Beans yeah, and okay, patates. Now what, did, what did you do with the potato? So all we've done is just basically peeled them and boiled them for yep. about five minutes, so just mm -hmm. nice and tender. Oh, okay. So we're just going to break them up, mm -hmm. get the beans in there beans also. In there. A bit of love. There you go. All put that. that side. So just, look, it's going to pick up, mm -hmm. the potatoes are going to break down. Use the back of the spoon if you need to. Mm -hmm. You can add some stock or water. Yes. I'm just adding water to mm -hmm. today. Okay. Okay. Now we need to let that cook for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Just give it a good season mm -hmm. also. Some you salt. You love your pepper and salt, don't you? Michael. Really just brings out the flavour. It does. I mean... You need to season everything. There's a yes. reason why salt and pepper were made for. It's to season and give everything some love. Yeah. Look at that, Michael. It's reduced down, thickened up quite well. Mm -hmm. In with our tagliatelle. Egg pasta. Egg That's pasta. With the ribbons, okay, the tagliatelle, mm. the sauce of the mm. dish will start to cling to the pasta. And this is where you get the most amazing mm. experience. Beautiful, I'm with you. All I'm right. You. Just softly, we'll turn off the mm. heat. Mm. Just fold that through okay. with a wooden spoon. Yeah. Beautiful. Always love a good splash of olive oil right at the end. Love it. Okay. You know how I said when you cook having wine and that, I mean, I sort of suggested maybe a red wine, but I reckon mm. something... Just, yeah, just hold might... on one sec. What? Uh, what you... Oh! <laughs> Oh, a nice little oh, rosé. Maybe Puccini no. would like a little rosé. What do you think? It's a shingle back right? <laughs> from Australia, South Australia. That is fantastic. That would be perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what would you call that? I think I'd be calling this a nice uh, tagliatelle, fagiolini e pedati. <laughs>